because I am protected. I am fun because I enjoy myself. I am balanced, body, mind, and spirit. My heart is. Hey, hello, and welcome. I'm Sarin the Healer. And this month for December, I've decided to do the energy readings by Aura Type. If you're new, that's Human Design Aura Type. You need the information that you needed in order to get your natal chart done and a quick Google search, and you can find out your type. Generators, manifestors, and projectors, I'm going to do a separate video for each of you. Manifesting generators, you're going to want to watch the generators reading. If it's not possible to find out your type because you don't know your real birth time, most people are generators, and you can also watch all videos just to see which one you resonate with. But 70% of the population is a generator, so it's a pretty good chance that you Hello, projectors. I want to apologize. I've, had, I've been trying this new editing technique and um, it took me so long to get the first two videos out that I got swamped with other things that I needed to do before I got to you guys. So um, I'm re-recording this because um, the initial reading that I did was just for the month of December. And that's not fair because we're just now getting this, um, you know, just now getting this out to you guys. So I'm doing a new reading. And this one, when I pulled these cards, I, my intention, my, what I asked from spirit was that this message goes all the way into the middle of January for you guys. So um, I hope you guys forgive me if any of you are still hanging around, so <laughs> rocking with me. This is your message, um, and I appreciate you still being here, even though it took me so long to get this out to you. All right, so our overall energy for the message is beloved, radical acceptance. That is so beautiful. It's a heart on fire. Okay, I feel like this is the energy that you've been calling for, the energy that's been calling to you, radical acceptance, love of everything, you know, flaws and all, no singers. Yeah, dragonflies and the, and the embers here. That's really cool with the image. All right, so let's check out you guys' message. Hmm. Hmm. So what I'm getting from this is there's a lot of projectors out there that have come into this ending part of 2021 with a lot of blocked energy. It's like there was a energetic injury that was sustained to your ego or to your heart and you're holding on to it because there's something that's, I don't know, it's like you don't want it to heal. You want to, it's like you want to honor it more than you want to heal it, basically. There's definitely an intentional lack of moving forward from this pain, this energetic injury that you sustained. I think it was earlier this year. There's not really anything here that's telling me that. I'm just getting that um, from a symbol in my third eye. 
but um, hmm. All right, so let's get a little bit more specific. I'm going to look at um, projectors who are undefined emotionally, okay? So that's the solar plexus center is white. It's not colored in. All right, so we've got the gate three difficulty at the beginning. That's a, um, it's like a regulating mechanism for that um, pressurized mutative adrenaline energy coming up from the root center into the the sacral center and it's about rough starts basically um we've got a block coming from the hierophant and the resolution aligns pretty well with this beloved Radical acceptance card, a powerful move. So it's like you taking control of your own energy, your own will, your own power, your own emotional space. So I see this as for the under, the undefined, emotionally undefined projectors this injury is very old and there is a defining um belief i guess that um came from somebody else that you have identified yourself with and i feel like gosh it's like spirit is calling out to you to break you out of that and you've been stubbornly avoiding it and you're not going to be able to do that too much longer something is going to happen and get your attention and, and make you realize what this is what this thing is and i feel like it's not a coincidence that we're getting this type of a message right as we go into the venus retrograde season um it's going to hold up a mirror to what this is you know so if when you were a kid you were jumping around and squealing and, and running from room to room and just really enjoying yourself and someone um, stopped you and said, why are you so loud? You are the loudest child I've ever met. Why are you so loud? You know, and you in turn, like you took that on as, oh, wow, I'm loud, you know, and, and that became like part of your, your identity. It's something that you believe about yourself that you don't like or that you feel is wrong. And it, it creates like a, a raw spot, a stubbornly, you know, unhealed place. But this is going to, it's like a breakthrough, basically, where you're like, Loud compared to what? <laughs> Who are you to tell me I'm loud? You know, it's like you're you're going all the way back to that moment and realizing how much it's affected you. And you, it's like you become your own hair of it. All right, so let's look at our emotional projectors so emotionally defined projectors are in ooh, this sensitivity gate it's um the the three was sacral this one is root emotional root energy so it's about basically pressure to worry about where where your resources are coming from pressure to to worry about where your safe places your safety your your nurturing your um, nourishment that kind of thing right um and the block here is a tower hmm 
So I see that, oh my goodness. It's like a sacral chakra activation. Look at this, both of these cards are unlocking something. This is really dope. Two hearts on fire, two keys unlocking something, and one stubborn projector. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Or probably several stubborn projectors. <laughs> Not that the stubbornness is, is a bad thing. It's just that's been what's kept you going, you know? Um, um, but what I'm seeing, it looks like spirit is reaching out to you. Spirit is pushing through that stubbornness to get you to see something. It's like an unavoidable, radical <laughs> change. <gasps> oh. Something that's causing you to accept that piece of yourself that you've hated. Well, not hated. That's a, that's a heavy word. But, you know, that you felt was wrong or inappropriate or whatever. could be could have to do with sexual energy because this is a sacral chakra card sacral this looks very sacral to me too it could have to do with how you direct your sexual energy or how you have directed your sexual energy in the past and you're coming to accept your decisions you know and and not allow that to continue to block you from healing going forward, you know? Wow. All right, that, that, that got really deep really fast, projectors. Um, I know not everybody is going to resonate with that to, you know, the degree that I, I explained it, but it's, if I look at it in a more general sense, it's an energy of... Um, holding back, holding yourself back on purpose because you don't believe that the outcome that you want is possible. And so this is a unforeseen catalyst. <laughs> Something is going to happen that's out of your control that is going to cause you to see why you've been blocking that energy and why you don't need to anymore. So it's going to be like reuniting with your higher self. You know, there's probably messages and stuff that's been trying to come in from spirit to you that you haven't been able to get because you haven't been connecting with that part of yourself. And that's all, all of that energy is going to free up and start moving. And that energetic wound is going to start to heal. So definitely, I feel like you guys need to um, dedicate yourself to your meditation practice um, for these next few weeks. And want to be nice to yourself. Um, use the Venus retrograde, retrograde energy to... Um, look at, look deeper, you know, and see what this could actually pertain to or what it could be. Um, Marla was telling me that if you look at what house in your natal chart Venus is retrograding through, so where is the Capricorn? Which house is ruled by Capricorn in your chart? That's going to give you some insight into what areas the Venus retrograde is going to affect you. But of course, we know she's doing the whole um, 
Venus retrograde deep dive. So hopefully you guys are all going to participate in that. And that's going to help you through it. All right. I appreciate you so much for your patience and for still being here with me. Thank you for making it all the way to the end of this video. Um, let me know if this message was helpful to you. I hope it wasn't too harshly worded that you feel, you know, attacked or like anything was, you know, wrong with it. It's definitely not something that's wrong with you. It's just an area where you have some energy blocked and you're not able to see how things could go better for you if you unblocked that energy or if you allowed it to flow and you unlocked that sacral energy. All right. I will look forward to seeing you guys back here again next time. Bye now.